Welcome. This is Melinda Barlow, CZT, Certified Centangle Teacher. And this is part two in our Noel. And you can see we've done uh, vertigo and I've added some little kind of berries or little balls down in there. Um, I didn't add them up in here and I probably need to continue to, you know, to keep that theme to have those go all the way up there. They don't have to be as as full as what I've done them in other areas. So our next tangle is um, I taught it in in my class at the library and it's really akin to vertigo but it's called Featherfall and it's by um, Carol O and we're just going to do a feather fall and sometimes I think oh where am I going to put it so sometimes I just look things over and I think you know because I didn't do a string so it's it gets a little bit more complicated and on where you put things but I'm just going to draw a line up through there because that's going to be my base of my um, feather fall and then I'm going to put just like I did on um, vertigo it's gonna have some little spiky things coming out of it so I have to kind of think where and they're just gonna alternate going up this little all the way up that little stem. Now I'm going to come back and I'm going to color those in. And I might end up doing a few more in between if I feel like I've got them too far apart, but we'll see what happens as I work my way up this um, little line. It's kind of the it doesn't have to be like um, a stem, it's like a vein on a on a feather. I don't know where, what Carol was thinking when she was doing this, but that's what I think. I think, oh, we'll think of it as a vein on, um, on a feather. And sometimes when I do this, I think of shards because I think it looks a lot like shards. Now we're just going to come back and we're going to aura this. And I'm just going to go back and forth and aura each one of these. And we could put um, more in here, but I'm just going to see how it goes without, let's see if I did them too far apart or I think I'm going to have to add some more. I can kind of feel it like they're too far apart, but that's okay. So I'm going to come back in and I'm going to add another, just because I want something in between. And I kind of like to have, so they kind of fill up that space in between. So we kind of have those spaces filled up. Now we're going to come back and we're going to, and I'm going to come in, sorry I didn't come in, and we have that all the way up through there. Now I'm going to come and I'm going to join those together and give it a little line. So it kind of comes out. And that gives it that feathery look. Just going to join those. And where it's underneath, the, oh, we're not going to see it. And now I can also come back in and add some more of these little 
kind of feathery looking things on it. So they come up, I did think, you know, that it's coming up behind that O. And there we have a feather fall. It kind of goes, you know, kind of works its way into this. I'm just going to add a little bit more lines in there. And that will get a little shading. And that we there we have feather fall. Now we could add a little bit of feather fall down here, just a small one, just to kind of balance that out a little bit. Or even one that comes, you know, down from... I'm going to bring one that's coming down the other direction. So it was up in here. And then I'm just going to draw my... Sometimes I like to fill them in right as I go. Kind of gives me a feel of how it's going to turn out. Okay, now we're just going to come back and aura those. I think I'm going to make this just the top of it. And I'm going to continue. Let's see if we can't get a little closer shot so you can see. And I think it always looks kind of weird when I first start. And, and then as I fill in and I aura around it, and it just kind of starts to fill up, it, it has a better look. Okay, now we want to connect those. Scan out so we can see. See how we're kind of making it so it kind of joins together. And there we have Featherfall. And thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. And we will have continuing series on this um, as we complete it. And thanks again and have a great day.